Greetings from Medellin, Colombia, where I'm currently traveling. In this video, I'm going to go over some an anatomical terms related to the female reproductive system. So I don't have the very best audio here because I'm by a noisy street and some other different factors, but I'll, always, I'll put all the words on the screen so you can kind of sound them out as well in addition to listening to them. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'll, I'll give you the terms in English and then in Spanish a couple times, and ideally you'd say it out loud if you're in, if you're in a place where you can do that each time that I say it in Spanish. All right, so we'll start with a general term, which is genitals. How do you say genitals in Spanish? Or the genitals. We're going to put the in front of everything. Los genitales. Los genitales. So the reason we're putting the in front of everything is because that's what you typically do with body parts in Spanish. 90% of the time or more, you're going to use the, so figure out whether to use el or la or los or las. All right, so next is vulva. How do you say vulva in Spanish? La vulva. La vulva. So as you can see, it's spelled exactly the same, so you just have to pronounce it using the correct vowel sounds and other sounds in Spanish. All right, so the next one is clitoris. El clitoris. El clitoris. So again, spelled the same, but you got to use the correct uh, vowel sounds and other sounds. And in this case, you, the, it has an accent mark, so you emphasize the first syllable. All right, so we're sort of working our way from the outside of the body to the inside of the body. So the next one is vagina. La vagina. La vagina. Cervix. El cervix. El cervix. So again, they're with the you know same spelling as English, but you gotta figure out how to pronounce it correctly. All right, what about uterus? El útero. El útero. All right, how about fallopian tubes? Las trompas de falopio. Las trompas de falopio. So as you can tell, that sounds like trumps or trumpets. So that's a, maybe an easy way to remember, help you remember that kind of. All right, so what about ovaries? Los ovarios. Los ovarios. And this isn't technically an anatomical term, but what about pregnancy? How do you say pregnancy in Spanish? El embarazo. El embarazo. Which, as you can tell, is quite similar to the word for pregnant. What's the word for pregnant? Embarazada. Embarazada. Yeah, so useful to know both of those when you're talking about pregnancy and things like that. Um, and let's throw in one more. Um, so this word, what's the word for uh, delivery? Like a birth or delivery. El parto. El parto which is also related to the word for miscarriage, which would be malparto, malparto. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. I mean, it overlaps a little bit with some other 
information I've shared in the past, like abdominal anatomy, but obviously there's some differences as well. And I've got a playlist here with a bunch of other similar anatomy videos if you want to keep brushing up on your anatomy and some other really beginner-friendly videos for uh, about basic Spanish stuff. And then down below, you can find a playlist with some medical Spanish dialogues, like asking about, you know, abdominal pain and chest pain and kind of figuring out all the details. All right. Thanks for watching.